Hello everybody and welcome back to A Taste of Donegal. So we are back after a few weeks absence and we're going to continue where we left off. Um, basically we were harvesting field number 22 which is this field here. We're going to do a big baling session and get all this completed finally because we've been dragging this over a number of episodes and it is about time it was done. So the first thing to do is to take the harvester back to the yard because it's a bit in the way. Uh, kind of dreading this because of the header it does not want to stay on that header trailer. So we're going to have to give it a go, obviously, to get it back there, but it might fall off. Hopefully it won't do. So yes, we are doing a taste of Donegal one day a week for the foreseeable future. Uh, I do apologise for that. I, I wish it could be different, but it has to be like that because of all the new maps which have come out. I would love to do it more than once a week, um, like two different videos a day. But if I was to upload two videos a day, I would have to upload them in very poor quality as it takes long enough to upload just one a day. So it's just the way it is, I'm afraid. I'm really sorry about it. Hopefully I'll be able to change that at some point in the future. Uh, but yeah, at least I've kept it on for all you Donegal fans. Yeah, you've got to be really careful with this because for some reason the header just loves to flip off that trailer. It spends more time on the floor than it does on the trailer. It's just the way it is, I think. But if we go steady, there should be no reason why it should fall off. Now, we do have a baler already, but I would love to invest in that really nice Massey Ferguson one because the Fusion 2, which we've got by Sam N, is a wrapper as well. You can just bail. You don't have to wrap, but I would love to use a different baler uh, for the fields which aren't going to be wrapped as well. This will also allow us to use some different machinery. Um, in real life it probably would be a total waste of money to, to have two different balers, but I would love to use that Matthew Ferguson baler again. It's been a while since I've used it. How's the header doing? Is it still on there? Can't quite see it in the mirrors. It is! Wow, that is amazing. Well, anyway, I'm going to go back to the yard, uh, drive nice and steady. We'll park this up, and then I just need to find a tractor which has got enough horsepower. That is the thing which is which is a, a problem uh, with the machinery which I chose on this map. They're all a very similar horsepower. They're all around 150, so it's making it quite difficult to use the the higher horsepower required machines, such as the balers. Um, I think I'm just going to have to risk it on a lower horsepower machine, but it does require, I think, 250 horsepower. So it's not going to be easy, but we'll give it a go. We could also rent another tractor, a higher horsepower tractor, but as it's just one field, it would seem very wasteful uh, to do that. But having said that, I think I might just have a look and see how much it would cost to rent a tractor for an hour, because you wouldn't have thought it'd be too much. Uh, it's worth a go. I was kind of thinking on that class tractor, the class Axion. It all comes down to the price, really. Okay, we'll park that here. We will switch the engine off. And yeah, let's just have a look and see how much it would actually cost to rent a different tractor. I'm thinking the class, but it might be something different. We've got all these different tractors here, loads of them. Uh, some of them I can't use because they've been converted over um, and I don't have a download link for them. But yes, this one here, 410 horsepower. Even that is too much actually. Uh, the case isn't enough. The 7626 is pretty much perfect actually, that is very good. But I have had a number of requests to use this one, so let's have a look. Right, okay, that's not too bad. That isn't too bad at all. It looks like, uh, well, it says the total price here is £361.82, but the price here is 458 So, yeah, I'm, t I'm guessing the total price here is the one we actually pay. So we'll rent that for one hour, we'll buy the baler, and get Phil 22 all bailed. And here is the baler, this is 50,000 euros, so not cheap, but I think we should still buy it outright instead of renting it. 
Um, we are now in the right currency, but I don't think anyone noticed. I don't think they did. Shh, don't tell anyone. Right, where is our tractor? Here it is. We do have a lot of tractors, but that is why we're only renting this for one hour. Because otherwise, I, I just fear that if we use one of the tractors we've already got, I can just imagine myself attaching it to this baler, and uh, just <laughs> it's not going to move, basically. It's just going to sit there. So at least with this, this tractor, uh, we're not going to have any problems. And we've got IC as well. Love the IC. So uh, we'll attach that on there. I don't really like getting out the tractor to attach the implement to the actual tractor by hand, but it's the PTO. That's what I like to do. I wish you could attach the implement from in the cab and then get out and put the PTO on. That would be ideal. So we'll shut the door. We'll head over to fill number 22, which is actually right next to us, but we have to go the long way around to get to it. We'll get this all bailed up, and then, in a future episode, we'll get these all stacked up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an actual stack in the field, because usually I just take them to the yard and they're just chaotic there. They don't need to go straight back to the, the, the yard straight away because it's just unnecessary. So we'll just make a really good massive stack in the field. We might use an auto stacker because you know <laughs> you know what my stacking's like. We will have to see. Um, but oh hang on. We're playing in uh, times five there. Back into real time. Otherwise we're gonna lose the tractor. And we'll be able to begin as soon as we get there. Yes, we don't have to worry about any of the uh, the wrap in this baler. It sorts it all out for you. I wish there was another version where you could actually uh, put the bale, bale twine in there instead of it just miraculously appearing and uh, it being an endless supply. But yeah, that's just the way it is. The actual model and the workings of it and the sounds are perfect. They really are good. I've always enjoyed using this baler. There's also a, a class baler as well which I'd love to use, so maybe in a future video. Okay then, so here we are in the field. We need to unfold it, obviously. <laughs> it's just pointing out the obvious there, because I always forget. Switch it on. And let's see how many bells we get out of this. With this field, we don't actually have to use a rake first to row them all together, because the combine was big enough to uh, leave the swaths fairly, uh, a fairly good distance apart. So it does make it easier. The only issue is my harvesting skills were not great and this is making it difficult. It's very wiggly. But the first bale should be produced very soon. Yes, the way I did the harvesting I was basically just going around the headland, round and round until we were done. So we don't have to worry about going up and down the field. I don't think I did it the right way, but as the field is a relatively strange shape, I think it works. Okay, I'm just checking something. Yeah. Because so many birds have to process through the system before it actually calculates one has been produced. Uh, I thought it was under reading there. But no, it's all working perfectly. We'll just keep going, really. Until we are complete. I'm not sure if this is a good speed to be doing. This is the maximum speed which Farming Simulator allows you to bail at. Uh, it might be a bit too fast, but yeah, I I've seen uh, tractors bailing at a, a fairly fast speed. I don't know the exact speed. But we've got to get the job done. Yeah, so basically, in uh, a taste of Donegal, the soil mod isn't enabled and also the follow me doesn't seem to work. So. I'm just kind of uh, suggesting things for a, a future version if there's going to be one. I think it'd be good to see Soil Mod and also whatever the reason is for Follow Me. I'm not sure why Follow Me doesn't work. Uh, I thought it was just a mod which ran through every single map. Maybe it does have to be enabled. I'm not sure. But yeah, if that could be fixed for a future version if there's going to be one, that would be fantastic. But yeah, other, other than those two things, this map is faultless, it really is.
Another job which we really need to do in a future episode on here is to work on the pigs and the beef mob because we haven't actually got any yet. It's all enabled on this map, but I've never actually done them. So we do need to make that a bit of a priority once this field is all stacked up. Um, we've got the cows, we've, we've got the normal cows, that is the milking cows. We've got 120 of those and we've got 60 sheep. Wow, this food is a mess. My harvesting was really bad here. Didn't realise at the time. That's probably why that video had a lower rating than all the others. Probably because of my terrible harvesting. Uh, but yes, yeah, pigs and beef. Future episode. That'll be coming up soon. But I think, yeah, really, this map is one of those maps which I think doing once a week is the best thing for it. Because then you can keep the series going over a longer time period, but only having like a taster every now and then of the map. So if we could keep this map going for several months from now, I think that would be the best thing for it. I said at least 20 episodes, but I'm kind of considering a lot more than that. We just keep going steadily, every now and then. That would probably be the best thing to do. Let me know your suggestions and all your opinions on that. I, I would love to hear them. Yeah, I think the uh, speed is a little bit too fast because of the way it just flicks that bale out the back. So I think if I uh, set the, the cruise control, although that is harder with a map like this, or a field like this, because uh, you've got to turn more often. Actually, no, it even flipped it there. That's weird. Maybe it's just my driving. Yeah, I was considering just dropping the cruise control speed, but I don't think it would make much of a difference. Anyway, we've just got this centre bit to do, and then we'll be complete, although there are a lot of missed bits, which I'm sure a lot of people would be quite angry about. Sorry about that. It's because, uh, well, the way I harvested it, and obviously I haven't raked it up, so it's harder. Anyway, back in cab view, and so far we've got 22 bales as of this. Hopefully 40 in the end, hopefully about 40. Okay, we're still going. We're getting closer to the end. Just been tidying a few of the uh, the messy bits up, although there are still quite a lot of missed bits. Don't know how it got quite so bad, really. But yeah, my plan is to get this bale today, get it stacked today as well, and then next week, if we can start the pig and beef mod then, get that all done in one episode, and that would be fantastic. Obviously, uh, we're going to need various crops for that. We need wheat, and we need a root crop for the feed. We also need the silage, and also a hay and a straw bale for the total mixed ration and obviously water and yeah then we can uh, we can buy as many as we can do I don't think they're too expensive actually so we should be able to get quite a few wow this is so messy I just don't know how it got so bad Well, I don't think I can keep going on forever picking all these bits up, so we're going to have to leave it there. Well, there's a bit over there actually which is uh, a bit more considerable, but even in real life there will be a few bits missed, so just having a few bits here and there isn't too bad. I think in real life it's just not as obvious because the, uh, the stubble is a lighter colour, the same colour as the straw. Right, here we go then, let's unload. And we will fold this up. In the end, we've got 34 bales, which isn't too bad. Six short than I uh, wanted, but still, 34 is better than none. So I think we'll make full use of our rented tractor today. So we'll go and get the auto stacker. I don't know if we're going to rent that as well. It might be a sensible idea to, as I've said before, um, as this is a very heavily based livestock map. We're not going to really use the auto stacker that much. So, renting it might be the best thing to do. I think we'll have to. 
In fact, all we are going to use the auto stacker for is to stack them in the field. From then onwards, we're going to be using a front loader or a telehandler to take them from the stack, put them on a trailer, and bring them back to whichever yard we need them in. So, yes, it is basically just to contain them a bit better in the field. Whoa, there's a bit of swerve in there. I might actually put this in our other yard, which is uh, down the bottom, because this yard tends to be very full. We do have a few areas here and there where we can put it, like in there. But yes, I, I don't really like that shed. <laughs> I'm going to put it down the bottom. We're going to go over here. Now, at least with this bigger tractor as well, it doesn't ground out on the on the floor on the ground, sorry. Um, this track, sometimes, the, the balers can hit the ground. I, I think it's to do with the height of the hitch on the tractor. Because obviously if it's sitting low, then the implement will be sitting low as well, and it can ground down. Right, I'm going down a bottleneck here. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Let's just uh, reverse into one of these sheds at the back there. Right, okay, so it's not the, uh, the biggest area to turn around in, but we want to put it down here, which is a big ask for such a large machine. But I'm hoping it'll be possible. I'm going to put it in this shed here. Yeah, I think the, the key here is just to go steady. Slow and steady. And you get it there without crashing. Okay, so let's uh, just detach the PTO, and then we can detach the baler. I don't think you can fold up the link arms on this tractor. Well, let's have a look. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure you can't do. No. Oh well, we will go over to the shop and we will rent the auto stacker. It really shouldn't be that expensive. Okay, so into the rental shop, let's go into here, and we want the Arcusin, I think it's pronounced like that, um, the Arcusin Auto Stacker. And this will cost only 150 euros for an hour's use, which I guess, I don't know, for pharmacy measure it doesn't sound expensive, but maybe for real life that is. I'd say it's a fair price. We are going to have to spin around though because it's spawned very close to the fence. We've got half an hour left on the tractor and obviously an hour left on the auto stacker. Yes, this should not take too long at all. Let's begin work of getting these bales onto the stacker. I think the best place for the stack is actually right here in the corner because it has to be somewhere flat, this is a, a flat area, and also it has to be somewhere with good access to the track there. We don't want to be traipsing across the whole field, especially if we're going to cultivate and reseed this field before we move all the bales. So yeah, in, in the corner there, tucked away, that would most likely be the most sensible place to put it. So that is where we'll start it. I must make sure that I pick up 34 in total. I've forgotten the capacity of this. I'm guessing it's 16, judging by the way it's going. So, yeah, basically two loads would be 32. So we need to, well, it's basically two and a bit loads. In fact, quite a frustrating amount, quite a frustrating number that. 
There we go. That's 16. So we need to fold that up. Makes it very easy when you're not going very far with them. Actually, one thought. Is there space in that yard out there? Um, I wouldn't say there is enough. It's just to keep it out of the field. Um, no. Actually, let's just jump out. Um, you see, if it's not in the field, then it, it leaves the whole field free. We'll be able to cultivate it and, and replant it dead easy. Yeah, it's a bit busy. That's obviously a silage pit, so it can't go in there. I suppose... Yeah, because that door slides that way. Although that would stop access. Yeah, I'm not going to keep messing about. Uh, we'll keep it in the field. It could go here, but it's just risking us uh, blocking the entrance. So where it is should be fine. You see how long it takes me just to make a minor decision? Oh well. Let's uh, put it here. It doesn't matter if it's on the grass border too much because it obviously keeps it out of the field more. Uh, so as long as it's neat, that is the main thing here. And also, as long as it doesn't conflict with the uh, collision on the hedge, because that would be really annoying. That was close, actually. <laughs> that wanted to go. Low number two. And I can go next to it. Doing everything in this field today just gets it out of the way. It would seem a bit ridiculous in two weeks, that'd be two episodes, us only managing to get this field bailed and moved into a stack. So yeah, the more I can cram into an episode, the better. I try and make these Monday videos a bit longer than usual, although I do have limits to how long I can do them, otherwise they won't be uploaded in time, basically. So yes, I think, well, my cutoff is usually 35 minutes. And if I can keep it about 30, that'd be good. It's usually between 20 and 30. I think all the other bales are on the other side of the field. Field 23 has almost fully grown back. That's the field which we did with the John Deere uh, mower. Is it a MoCo? Is that a mower conditioner? Apparently that stands for, I think. Two more. And yes, that is perfect. Look, there's two left once we've picked up this one. Which means we have got all the bales. Really hoping this one isn't going to fall over. It's uh, leaning precariously, really, that, that first one I put there. Surprised how much it is leaning. But it shouldn't fall over. Unless, of course, there is a spawning issue next time I load the map up. I think that is as close as I want it to be. Obviously, it's best if they're really tucked up together, but in Farming Simulator, I have had bales stacks explode before. If they're too close. Whoa, that is, uh, that is quite a lean on there. Ah! It's getting scary. So even when I'm using an auto stacker, I can't get my stacks right. <laughs> that is how bad I am at this. Wow. I think it is the the uh, land though. It seems to be, yeah. Always blame something else. It's always a good idea too. Uh, yeah, I, I think the land is a bit uneven here. I think that's what it is. But I might have pulled out at a funny angle. But other there, that is the main point. Let's go and get the final two, and we'll finish the job off. Here's the first one. And the second one is just there. Good. Field completed. Feels to have taken a while since I first got the harvester in here. The job 
for the future will be to uh, to plant this again. I can't remember what cedar we've got. Actually lost track of that. So these will be the first two we use, so they'll probably go in the next couple of days. Uh, we'll just drop them off. There we go. And yes, both of these are rented. I think what we'll do is we'll wash them because you get charged a penalty if you don't wash them. I don't know if the auto stack is dirty actually. I think it's mainly the tractor because that's done most of the work. Just wait for that to go up. And we are finished here, so we'll shut the gate. And the final thing to do will be to take them well, you can return them actually without going to the store. But yes, we need to return them. Actually, I've just thought of something. I don't think there is a sell point for tractors, like a sell box, um, on this map. I don't think there is one, because there's no trigger also for, for you to buy a tractor. You have to press P on the keyboard or whatever key you've assigned. So we will have to just return this by going to the main menu and doing it that way. Uh, but that's fine. We'll do when we wash this and then we'll see how much it's going to cost us. Because you do get charged for these penalties if um, you don't clean them or refuel them. I think the fuel is on the right hand side when we're going to here. It is. In fact the pressure washer and the diesel tank are together. So that makes it really easy. I'm sure our diesel is much cheaper than what the hell charges to refuel it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is clean anyway. The tractor clearly has got a bit dirty. So we'll make sure that's spotless, otherwise we will get charged. There we go, I'm pretty sure that is good. Okay, so we'll put the hose, the uh, gun, whatever it is, the pressure washer nozzle back. What is this about? That is weird. Disco wheels. Do, 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 do. Right, let's take these back. Um, the way I do it, if you can't do it at the shop, is to go into here. You find them, which is the hard part. There's the auto stacker. Return vehicle, no fees because we washed it. And the tractor, which should be fairly early on actually in here. There it is. Uh, no fees again. Brilliant. So we've actually done pretty well out of that. We didn't use them for for the full amount of time um, But still we made good use of it and it definitely came in handy in the end So there we have it a taste of Donegal for this week Hopefully you've enjoyed the episode and we will return same time next Monday for the next episode where we'll be doing the pigs and the cows So thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now